hey welcome to the lex channel so throughout these couple of years uh, i shot uh, various uh, video episodes on uh, kernel uh, data structures uh, especially the data structures related to networking uh, subsystem of the kernel so as a part of the same uh, as you can see here in my video index uh, i shot uh, uh, video episodes on sk buff data structure because this is quite important this is where your uh, uh, individual packet contents are you know kept as a uh, you know part of container or an instance of every packet as the way it traverses in the network stack across uh, various uh, you know modules uh, in the you know network uh, networking subsystem of the linux kernel so apart from that i shot uh, video episodes on uh, uh, small uh, data structures like uh, you know tcp header ip header udp header these are very tiny data structures uh, <coughs> to hold or uh, to interpret or parse uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the respective you know protocol headers so apart from that i have also shot video episodes on net device data structures which are which is quite important because net device data structure is where you have the you know port information is stored across each instance of net device or data structure so other than that i have also discussed about you know test entry and stuff like that so as the way you uh, progress uh, with respect to various other important data structures so something which quite uh, comes into the picture is a socket data structure because every time you do user space uh, programming of um, udp or tcp sockets uh, in the kernel side it will be using the socket uh, the subsystem of the socket subsystem uh, of the linux kernel uses some important data structures so as a part of this uh, new series uh, we can discuss uh, the socket and uh, sock or sec struct uh, sock and uh, struct uh, socket data structure because these are sort of into you know interlinked and uh, sometimes people also have uh, tend to have confusion uh, in terms of um, in which case the sock data structure comes and which case socket data structure comes so if you hop on here you can see uh, my old uh, udp sample code in which uh, i have discussed uh, a very simple sample code so you can see here you are uh, using a socket file descriptor and this is getting populated with the socket api and then you can do various other uh, uh, you know uh, operations on the same based on the you know socket type it can be a udp socket it can be a tcp socket so based on the uh, socket type you can do various operations so you can see here we can uh, do the operations like send and uh, uh, in the you know client side in the server side you can see here we can do like something like a, a receive from and stuff like that since it's a user side uh, socket so we are not storing any instance uh, of the socket in the user side it is just holding the socket file descriptor you can see here and uh, this is like a small identifier so uh, uh, like you have a primary key in a database so that is the reason it is just holding that uh, socket file descriptor as an integer variable just it's like a identifier in the kernel side you will have the entire implementation of the corresponding stuff so which is the reason in the kernel side you can find you know uh, these uh, header files uh, which contains the actual data structure uh, to hold this entire you know socket uh, uh, metadata or socket information so the struct uh, socket is uh, defined in uh, include uh, linux uh, net.h you can see here it has this uh, small uh, documentation so this is where uh, the struct socket is uh, defined so you can see here uh, if you scroll down you have this uh, uh, struct socket so this is the uh, data structure which corresponds to the kernel side of the socket uh, subsystem which you are uh, you know getting uh, its services getting used in the user space uh, part of uh, you know a linux system so you can see here you have this uh, uh, socket and inside it also has this instance uh, which is this uh, struct sock so if you click uh, its uh, struct is uh, defined over here so include net soft.h so if you scroll down you can find uh, the data structure struct sock so you can see here so this uh, contains uh, various other uh, you know member uh, variables and uh, both the uh, uh, data structures in depth we can discuss in uh, subsequent uh, video episodes whereas in this episode i want to discuss also about a few interesting aspects you can see here 
if you go back to this uh, include uh, linux net.h of uh, struct sock you can see here you have this uh, uh, socket type which is a uh, sock stream sock datagram and uh, stuff like that so this is what essentially you need over here you can see here you are passing over here to create a socket and then if it is successful the file descriptor will have a successful uh, you know written type if it is not successful it is going to have some kind of error value so this is what essentially you are passing and this is what essentially it is defined in the kernel side of the socket data structure as well so you can see here you have this various socket types so if you go down here you can see here short and type and it is holding that uh, you know socket type as a part of this uh, you know member variable of uh, struct sock uh, i mean uh, struct socket i'm sorry always i to get confused between struct sock and struct socket so this is the confusion it arises so you can see here and then you have this uh, file operations so you can see here always the socket may have file operations in this case it is just uh, you know uh, uh, it is uh, uh, sometimes optional in this case whereas if you do any tcp uh, uh, you know socket creation you may uh, define any file operations so i believe uh, whenever you define such file operations the corresponding uh, Uh, the metadata will be stored in the kernel side of uh, socket data structure and that is what essentially uh, which is uh, stored over here you can see here it's a pointer and it points to this uh, uh, struct you know proto uh, ops you can see here this has all that uh, socket operations you have also the operations uh, the i mean uh, the uh, function pointer of various operations like uh, you know you can see here uh, you have this uh, bind uh, send message uh, you know listen and accept and everything else so this is what essentially whenever you do in user space you have that corresponding implementation in the kernel side so you can see here here is where you need to notice that you have these file operations in the case of sock you know struct sock also you have a sort of you know file operations so if you little scroll down uh, you can see you know you can see this uh, struct uh, proto which has uh, you know similar uh, you know look and feel you have this uh, operation you have the send message receive message bind and stuff like that but if you deeply notice uh, that uh, prototypes are little different because this is a sort of uh, an abstracted uh, one because this is somewhat you know below that uh, struct socket so this is the reason some of the apis looks a little different for example if you Uh, check uh, the bind it looks like this and if you check uh, you know send message it looks like that whereas if you check over here the send message looks like this this really looks uh, exactly same like uh, what you do in the user side so this really reflects the same sort of you know function arguments uh, uh, whatever you pass in the user side of uh, you know typical uh, socket uh, api calls So now what we can do is uh, we can uh, dig down uh, its uh, implementation of these uh, you know data structures uh, especially the you know uh, uh, various uh, other supporting apis and stuff like that so if you dig down you can find uh, uh, the socket uh, you know struct socket is implemented in uh, uh, slash net uh, slash socket dot c so it is inside the net folder so you can see various apis uh, which corresponding uh, to support this entire data structure so you can see here uh, sock alloc it is like uh, it is doing the uh, you know creation of this instance and uh, taking all this uh, you know defaults and then it is returning that instance for the same whereas in the case of uh, struct sock you can find over here net core uh, sock.c and if you go down you can find the various variables especially it will correspond to uh, the data structure sock you can see here it corresponds to the data structure sock so you can see here you know various uh, uh, you know supporting apis uh, you can uh, uh, go through you can find the source over uh, net core uh, sock.c for a struct sock whereas for the struct socket you can find it in uh, net uh, socket.c so apart from that uh, one more interesting thing uh, you should notice is uh, in the uh, struct socket you have this uh, you know pointer uh, uh, pointing to struct sock you can you can see the documentation of the same you know struct sock which is sk which is nothing but internal networking protocol 
agnostic socket representation which itself says that it can, it is a sort of you know abstract linking we will further know what is more uh, it is pointing towards as the way we dig down so that's what this uh, the, the documentation says in the same way if you go back here in the strut sock so we are in uh, strut sock so if you see here it is also having a pointer uh, uh like this uh, sk socket uh, as a strut socket you can see here this is a part of strut sock strut sock and if you see the documentation somewhere you can find that sk socket is uh, you know uh, uh, you know reporting uh, uh to io signals so you can see it is like a sort of hierarchy you have the socket uh, struct socket which comes first and below that you have this uh, you know struct sock as a part of you know hierarchy so what we can do is uh, in the upcoming episodes uh, i'm going to uh, dig down deep and then we can uncover uh, the entire uh, hierarchy of uh, you know uh, socket uh, and as well as uh, sock uh, data structures and we can see how it uh, correlates and uh, how uh, the socket uh, uh, comes all the way from uh, a sort of abstraction like socket uh, to somewhat like you know the tcp or uh, the entire uh, network stack of ipv4 as such so this is what uh, we can do as a part of uh, understanding the entire uh, socket subsystem so this is somewhat a little bit i have discussed in uh, my networking subsystem introduction but uh, on the other side uh, it is quite huge topic i don't want to discuss uh, as a part of my uh, uh, you know networking subsystem video episodes because that is a sort of very big picture and i have told in uh, while giving the introduction of networking subsystem that sometime down the lane i may go all the way up in the uh, kernel side towards the user space where in which we will touch the socket uh, layer or socket uh, subsystem of the networking subsystem so that's all guys so for this episode hope you guys loved watching this video in case if you have any questions uh, send me an email thank you once again for watching this video have a nice day bye bye